Oh, Norwegian Cruise Lines. I used to love you so much. It used to be so simple. But with this free at sea, it's making me you know, think twice because I have a hard time trying to figure out exactly if I'm getting a good value. Let's find out. Norwegian Cruise Lines, it used to be so easy to book. You know, it was really, really easy. Now, it, with all your promos, it makes it really, really difficult to try to figure out exactly what I'm getting here and is it really a good price or not. So I'm going to break it down for you, folks. I'm going to break down the full free at sea program right now, as of today, 2022, May 1st. So before I actually break down Norwegian Cruise Line's free at sea program, I want to ask you folks to please subscribe to our channel. It's a new YouTube channel. I'm hoping to give you some really, really good content so you can understand exactly what you're buying when you buy a cruise vacation, just like this with Norwegian Cruise Line. We're going to break down that information for you. We're going to answer those questions that are in your head because you know what? They were in my head too. So please subscribe to this channel. Please give a thumbs up. It really, really helps. And also, turn on that little notification bell. This way, when we put out new stuff out there, you can see it too. We're going to cover all the different cruise lines. We're going to cover Norwegian, Carnival, Royal, Princess, you name it. We're going to cover it. So, again, hit that subscribe button. Hit that little notification bell on. Put that little thumbs up. Thanks in advance. Norwegian's free at sea program. You think you're getting such a great deal. You're going to get so much included in your cruise. I'm going to get free open bar. I'm going to get the free Wi-Fi. I'm going to get free excursions, specialty dining. I wish I wish the way they advertise this on that front page was the case. But you got to really read the fine print, folks. We're going to go through that fine print. We're going to answer all those questions. First, we're going to talk about you know what do you need to do? What are the terms and conditions in order to get this promo? All right, let's go through these terms and conditions with the free at sea program, right? First off, the cruise needs to be more than three days. If it's not more than three days, there's no free at sea program. Second, usually they would say up to five free offers, and that's for almost every category of cabin as of right now. Under normal circumstances, inside in Ocean Views, only would give you two of these five choices. So and you get to choose which one of the five you want. The other thing you need to know is you have to make your choices and they're kind of locked in, right? Once you make those, once you make your booking. So lock in what you want. The other thing you got to know about Norwegian's free at sea program, it is capacity controlled. So if you want to get into the perk action, right, you got to make that decision pretty darn quick because it can be cut off and only the um, sail away program can be offered at that cabin category. So if you want to get into the perk action, and you really are thinking heavily about the free at sea program, book it because if you don't, it could be gone for that specific category that you're looking at. One other thing you need to know about the free at sea program, and it is usually combinable with other promos that are going on, such as a latitude reward members promo for extra points, such as uh, two for one deposits, such as two for one airfare. Hey, that's always a plus. The other thing that you really look at with this free at sea program when it says up to five, it's usually up to four on most cruises. The up to five are on those cruises where the kids are still in school, right? They usually at that time give the option for third and fourth passengers free. They try not to do that third and fourth passenger free when kids are out of school because they know, you know what? Families travel when kids are out of school and they don't want to offer that promotion during those times. So if you're saying, oh, wow, up to five, I see this, you know, kids free or third and fourth passenger free. It's tough, folks, to get your kids into those cabins during those times when they offer the third and fourth passenger free in the cabin. It's just what it is. I remember when I had my kids in school, it was really, really tough to do that using that promo. Okay, so let's go through this granddaddy of them all, the open bar perk with the free Etsy program. It's a, it's a good perk, especially since it covers everybody in the cabin. So you can have you know, up to eight people in a cabin if it's a big cabin. Everybody has to be of legal drinking age, 21. If they are not of legal drinking age, they will get downgraded to the soda package, just so you know. But you really have to understand what the premium beverage package is, what it includes, and what it doesn't include. So what does the premium beverage package actually truly include? It includes pretty much all your drinks that you would get at a bar, right? Everything, up to $15. So, hey, that's not too bad. I'm going to go through the exclusions right now for the open bar perk of the Free at Sea program. Wine and spirit experiences are not included. Tastings of flights, you know, not included. Starbucks, not included. 
ice bars if it's on the ship that you're on. Not included. Room service, not included. Package sales, not included. Bottled water, not included. Ship-specific promotions or beer buckets, not included. Designated super premium brands, not included. Bottled wines, not included. Mini bar purchases, not included. Freshly squeezed juices, not included. The wine dispensers on some ships, not included. Energy drinks, not included. And finally, anything purchased from the vending machine that is of a drink, not included. There is a little bit of a gotcha when you choose the open bar for the free at sea program. It is what it is, folks. But they're going to charge you a 20% service fee against the retail value of the package per person per night when you check out. The retail value of the open bar is $99 per person per night. So it's almost $20 per person per night. It can add up. Just so you know, it's not going to surprise you now. All right, specialty dining, folks. This is a lot easier than the open bar, so this should go a lot quicker. Here it is right now as of May 1st, 2022. This is what you get with that perk. If you're on a three to six night cruise and you're in any cabin on the ship, <laughs> you get it for one night, one night of specialty dining. If you're on a seven to an 11 night cruise and you're in a studio inside or ocean view, you're only gonna get one night. If you're in a balcony or above, you're gonna get two. 12 or more nights, if you're in a studio inside or ocean view, you're gonna get two nights. If you're in a balcony or above, you're gonna get three nights. Just like the open bar, they're gonna charge you gratuities on checkout. Just so you know, it's 20% based upon the retail value. If you wanna know what the retail value, you can always go check out a Norwegian Cruise Line. But as of right now, if you're getting one meal, the retail value is $50 per person. If you're getting two meals, it's $89 per person. If you're getting three meals, it's $119. Per person. 20% on that number. Add it in that checkout. All right, let's go through this free Wi Fi perk. I don't really consider it free Wi Fi because it's not unlimited. I mean, it's 2022, folks, right? You would think if someone says, hey, you get free Wi Fi, it means unlimited Wi Fi while you're on board, but it's not. It's a ticking clock Wi Fi. So if you are on a three to six night cruise, you're going to get 75 minutes per person. If you are on a seven to an 11 day cruise, you're gonna get 150 minutes per person. And if you're on a 12 day or more cruise, you're gonna get 300 minutes per person. This offer is only applied to the first and second guest in the stateroom, just like the dining package. So the maximum is 600 minutes if you're on a 12 or, not, 12 or more night cruise. The average is usually around 300 minutes if you're on a seven to an 11 night cruise. And if you're on a six night cruise, it's 150 minutes if there's two people in the cabin. Studios, of course, you know, that number is in half. So that's what it is. A ticking time bomb, right? I can only use the internet for 20 something minutes per night. It's kind of weird to think about it nowadays, right? To see that clock ticking down. Five, four, three, two, one. No more Wi Fi. But hey, it's something, but you place your own value on this, folks. The free excursion perk sounds great, right? It's not a free excursion, it's a $50 credit for the cabin, not per person. $50 for the cabin. So, unless you can find an excursion on the cruise line for $25 per person. Yeah, then it's a free excursion. But when was the last time you saw a $25 excursion from the cruise line? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Now, don't get me wrong. That $50 is nice because, hey, it is going to lower the overall cost for that cruise line excursion, which is good because then you don't have to worry about the overhead of getting from the cruise ship to where you want to get to and from there back to the cruise ship and having to pay that expense and having to arrange that and deal with figuring out how you're going to do it. That's a nice thing just to kind of offload you. And also, the cool thing is, is if you're on a cruise line supported excursion, that ship's going to wait for you until you get back to the ship. You don't have to worry about, am I going to become a pier runner? <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. So there is some benefits to this. Just so you know, it is only $50. But there is some really good benefits about booking with the cruise line for an excursion. So this helps that, which is nice. 
So let's quickly talk about that $99 or free third and fourth passenger. It's a good perk if you can use it, right? It is subject to dates and it's those dates are very narrow. So if you happen to have kids that are homeschooled, this is a great perk. But if you have kids that are in school, you know, this you're not going to find this perk available when they're out of school. You're just not. It's the cruise lines know when kids are away from school and they're not going to offer this perk during this time. Just not going to happen. If you do get this perk, the cool thing is, is you're not going to pay a deposit on the third and fourth person. And if you happen to be in one of those bigger cabins, right, where you can have five or six or seven or even up to eight people in that cabin, this perk only is included for persons number three and four. Five, six, seven, and eight will have to pay the prevailing rate for the extra people in the cabin. So it's only for three and four, not everybody after one and two. So there you go, folks. That's the Free at Sea program at Norwegian Cruise Line. I hope you got some value out of this video. I hope it makes you understand this perk package that you can put onto your cruise and understand the value to it and seeing if it makes sense for you and the price that Norwegian Cruise Line is offering it to you at. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell on, give me a like on this video. That's awesome if you can do that. Until we talk again next time, this is Rob from Cruise Seekers reminding you to always seek the seas. Bye-bye.